scapula of ox yes. it is present in craniovertebral direction okay it is triangular flat bone it has two surfaces medial surface and lateral surface yes medial surface it has a shallow depression mm. known as subscapular fossa which lodges subscapularis muscle this is lateral surface lateral surface lateral surface is divided into two parts by a scapular spine mm. infraspinatus fossa supraspinatus fossa mm. infraspinatus fossa supraspinatus lodges supraspinatus muscle infraspinatus lodges infraspinatus muscle this is the scapular spine scapular spine has two features one tuber spine a tubercle is present tuber spine and on the cranial end a process known as acromion process is present acromion process tuber spine scapular spine it has three angles cranial angle cranial border is thin cranial angle vertebral border or dorsal border which is serrated caudal border which is comparatively thicker and caudal angle cranial border above convex and distally concave here the serratus cervicis muscle is present on the cranial towards cranial border and here serratus thoracis muscle is present towards caudal border on medial aspect okay then this is the glenoid angle or articular angle it has a glenoid cavity circular in ox and oval in case of horse it has a glenoid notch which is present on the lateral aspect of the glenoid cavity in ox glenoid notch lateral aspect cavity okay then above the glenoid cavity there is present a tubercle which is known as tuber scapulae this is tuber spine this is tuber scapulae uh, medial to tuber scapulae medial to tuber scapulae there is present a process known as coracoid process coracoid process tuber scapulae tuber scapulae coracoid process glenoid cavity glenoid notch acromion process tuber spine these are the major features this is the scapula of horse uh, the the subscapularis fossa is deeper in case of horse like scapula of horse okay uh, the subscapularis fossa is deeper in case of horse and the acromion process is absent in horse main feature the tuber scapulae is very well developed in case of horse and medial to tuber scapulae there is present coracoid process which is also very much prominent but the glenoid cavity is oval in shape and the glenoid notch this is glenoid notch it is present on the medial aspect in ox it is present on the lateral aspect whereas in horse it is present on the medial aspect the glenoid notch theek hai uske baad iske aur koi picture bas bas le this is the scapula of dog theek hai it is of right hand side medial surface and lateral surface the scapular spine it divides the surface into one ratio one means supraspinatus or infraspinatus same ratio mein hote hai same size ke hote hai theek hai tuber spine is not so prominent theek hai acromion process is very important and very prominent it even has a small meta acromion process also okay then and hang over the glenoid cavity and hang over the okay fine glenoid cavity glenoid notch is absent this is tuber scapulae which is not which is blunt tuber scapula is blunt you know tuber scapula is blunt coracoid process is absent tuber scapula not much developed is blunt maine blunt likha tuber scapula is blunt and coracoid process is absent acromion process meta acromion glenoid notch is absent coracoid process is absent tuber scapula is blunt tuber spine is not much developed see here this is the scapula of pig it is of right hand side also it is wide it is the most widest scapula it is very wide okay this is tuber spine it is very much developed and curved 
downwards it is curved downwards this is the prominent prominent feature wide and curves downward acromion process is absent coracoid process is absent tuber scapulae is rough rudimentary types tuber scapulae is not so prominent glenoid notch is also absent in this mm.